Hi everybody, today is July 28th, 2013. FBI admits to flying drones over U.S. without warrants. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, says it has used drones for domestic surveillance purpose in the United States at least 10 times without obtaining warrants. In three additional cases, drones were authorized but not actually used. Well, you can figure they've done it thousands of times, but they're only admitting it to 10. Senator Rad Paul of Kentucky on Thursday published a letter from FBI Assistant Director Stephanie Kelly, who admitted that the agency used unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, domestically without gathering any warrants. And don't forget to sign up to get your uh, UAV hunting license from Deer Trail, Colorado. They're going to sell hunting licenses um, sometime in August to shoot down these unmanned aerial vehicles, these drones. The FBI uses UAVs in very limited circumstances to collect surveillance when there is a specific operational need, the letter reads. Since 2006, the FBI has conducted surveillance using UAVs in eight criminal cases and two national security cases. The Bureau said that it would only be required to obtain a warrant to use a drone in cases for which a person would have a reasonable expectation of privacy. Does that mean they were looking in someone's windows or using some kind of technology to see through the walls? The FBI stated that it has not yet needed to ask for a warrant. They just do whatever the hell they want. But that all requests for drone use must be reviewed by an agency lawyer and approved by a senior management official. The agency said that one of the cases involved the rescue of a five-year-old boy who was being held hostage in an underground bunker. They don't mention the time that it was used under a cattle dispute with some rancher. The information strongly suggests that the agency was referring to the Alabama hostage crisis in which a retired truck driver kidnapped a boy from a school bus and held him hostage for six days. Drone usage was also authorized in three additional cases, but the FBI did not release details about the nature of those circumstances. Senator Paul has long advocated against domestic drone usage, and in March held up CIA Director John Brennan's nomination for nearly 13 hours due to his history of defending drone strikes. In June, FBI Director Robert Mueller admitted that his agency uses drones to spy on Utah's citizens without operational guidelines. Since Mueller's announcement, Paul has sent a series of open letters to the FBI requesting detailed information about its use of drones in the United States. In his second letter, mailed July 9th, Paul threatened to filibuster the confirmation hearing for James Comey, Mueller's successor, if he didn't receive a response. This week, Paul finally received the information he sought. But Paul was discontent with part of the agency's response. In a follow-up letter addressed to Mueller, he expressed concerns about the FBI's ability to use drones without a warrant in cases where there's no reasonable expectation of privacy. He said the clause could result in an overbroad interpretation of this protection and asked the FBI to clarify what would require a warrant. Senator Paul also took his concerns to Twitter telling his followers that spying without warrants is unconstitutional. Overall, confirmation of FBI drone use might be cause for concern among privacy advocates and anti-drone activists. Dave Norris, a councilman for Charlottesville, Virginia, predicted last February that drone use would occur domestically and feared that there would be room for abuse. To me, it's big brother in the sky, he told the New York Times. I don't mean to sound conspiratorial about it. But these drones are coming and we need to put some safeguards in place so they are not abused. Alright, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you there. God bless y'all.